So this morning I was woken up by my maintenance man and he told me somebody left a surprise on my car. So I'm about to go outside and get a closer look at it. Now, immediately when he said that, I'm thinking, which one of you grimy bitches and did something? But like, I think I know what it is. We about to go check it out together. Dick on the fucking glass, bro. Y'all drop you, you drew a bunch of dicks and put it on the glass. That's real fucking funny. All right, all right. When I get my get back, niggas is gonna be pissed. Okay, I see how niggas is playing. I see how y'all playing. I see how niggas is playing now. All right, you gonna draw a bunch of dicks and stick them to my car. Now I gotta take all this shit off. Ugh. Bro, I got places to be too. Fuck y'all niggas, bro. So as y'all can see here, I'm just looking through and I'm reading the little shit that they put on these notes. And basically, it's little shit like booty hole, hoe, hoe ass nigga. Just stuff like that. It's enough to get me a little heated. It's a fact that I'm hungry as shit and I got to spend time sitting out here peeling sticky notes off my car. I, I'm not finding this shit funny. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm pissed. Because there's still a lot left on this shit. And like, it's cold as fuck and windy outside, bro. It's just like, I don't really feel like doing this, bro. It's a lot of fucking sticky notes, bro. Like, it's a lot of sticky notes. And I just don't know what the fuck. Like, why? The guys that did it, I just wanted y'all to know something very clear. Y'all know what y'all done stirred up with me, right? Y'all have given me ammunition to come for you. You give me ammunition to do whatever I please is is equal to this bullshit y'all done did. It's all love. It's always going to be love. But I got to get my get back. I have to. Because this shit right here is unnecessary. I cannot believe this is what... I can't believe this is what the hell I'm doing right now. I'm not even halfway done. I just got it off the windows, but I know, like, I can't pull off with this shit on my whip because it's a bunch of dicks on them. They set me up perfectly. I can't drive anywhere, and I'm not driving nowhere with a bunch of dicks around my car. One hour later. Damn near two fucking hours later, a fucking bag of all these fucking sticky notes, and I still ain't ate shit yet. I ain't ate a damn thing yet. Probably ate a fucking sticky note, though. Man of God, calm down. Man of the Lord, I'm a Christian. Why am I allowing myself to get out of body like this? I'm a peaceful guy. I'm a level-headed man. No, I'm not. I can't be for this. I can't, I, I can't let this lie. I can't let this lie. I can't possibly let this lie. They had different things on them. The most craziest things ever on them. Like the most disgusting things ever written on them. From dicks to... 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 A uh, uh, hoe. Uh, booty hoe. I saw booty Girl, hole. Girl, that's a booty hoe. Um, people who did this, they don't know. Well, they probably do. At this point. I'm coming for you niggas. I'm on your ass, bro. It ain't gonna be fun at all. It ain't gonna be sh it's gonna be fun for me. It's gonna be fun for my people, my viewers. But your viewers, your guys, you're not, they're not gonna enjoy this. At least from your end, they're not. Y'all fucked up big time, okay? Not my happy meal. Y'all stop me from going to go get my goddamn uh, nuggets. That's really what I wanted to go eat. I wanted some fucking nuggets. I can't get no nuggets now because I, well, I can, but now I'm more irritable as I'm hungry because I had to fuck with y'all and y'all sticky notes with dicks on them and asshole and booty hole on them. So, let the games begin. Ain't no turning back from here. You fucked up. Sleep tight. Or one out. Your decision. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm not done with this yet. 
it's mind boggling to me how stupid niggas think I actually am. Because, uh, as y'all can see right there, I spoke to Jalen and Vante on the phone earlier. Y'all can't really hear them, but in that phone call, they basically, I'm gonna sum it up for y'all. I, you know, I'm gonna sum it up, you know, so I don't miss nothing. They basically said they don't know who did it. They have no idea who put all those sticky notes on my car. But this is what they don't know. I was home yesterday. I told them I wasn't home yesterday. What happened was I was home yesterday, but I was doing the grown folk shit and it put me to sleep. I was tired as fuck after doing the same grown folk shit with a, you know? And so when they did it, I peeked out the window and saw it, and I, but I went back to sleep. I wasn't paying no attention to that shit. I was tired as fuck. I just got off a plane. Um, I just came back from Florida, by the way. So I'm gonna call these niggas right now because they still don't know that I know that they did it, right? So I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna ask them. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that because they think a girl did it. Like they they like oh, well they, they don't think a girl did it. Like because um I told them earlier my maintenance dude because he did he came banging on my door this morning. He was just telling me hey Trey bro like he was like I don't know what bitch you done pissed off. But she uh, got sticky notes and shit all over your... Because it was all over my front door, too. I didn't even know that. It was all over my front door, and it was all over my car. And so, I'm gonna, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them one by one. I'm going to say, hey, bro, a girl came forward and said that she was the one who did it. And that's going to be their last chance to save themselves. Because they don't... This shit just started, bro. So, let's see if they back out. Hey, bruh. Yeah. What you doing? You driving? What's going on? Bruh, guess what? What? So a bitch came forward and told me she did it. For real? Yeah. This girl that I was fucking with uh, last week, she had came over right before I uh, left from Florida and we had got into it. Like, But I didn't think shit of it. Like, I didn't think it was really nothing for real. But she told me, uh, she saw it on my story earlier and she kept putting laughing emojis. I thought that shit was sketchy anyway. But she ended up just telling me, uh, she the one who did that shit. So yeah, I, she uh she cashed out me money to pay for my car wash too, cause that shit pissed me off, cause it had fucking sticky no shit. So I'm uh stuck on my paint that I couldn't get off. Damn, that shit crazy. Yeah, but no, I just want to say my fault, bro. I for saying that uh accusing y'all niggas of doing it. No, you good. You said what? I said no, you good. Yeah, bro. Um, but that's all I wanted. You straight, though? Anything you got going on? You straight? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Let's see. Let me get back to editing this video, bro. All right, bet. All right, then. Oh, goddamn, goddamn. You get niggas chances. And it's just like, what's the point of giving chances when the chances are just like, you know, not even gonna be taken. And let me get my shoes off of this, bro, because like, this, here I am, fresh off a flight, hungover than a motherfucker. They knew this because I told Vante, I'm like, bro, I'm in pain, bro, I'm tired, bro, I just feel uncomfortable, bro, like, cause I'm not a big drinker and I drank a lot the night before, a lot. And then I had to hop on a plane back to Cleveland. So it's just like, I was fucked up. Y'all knew that, y'all took advantage of that. And so I spoke to Vate hours before, and I said, yeah, bro, I'm probably just going to sleep all day. But I ended up, um, I had company. Uh, um, I was here. I saw y'all. I lied and told y'all I didn't see y'all. But I saw y'all. I looked out the window, Vate. I saw you in the other parking lot of the other apartment building. I saw you watching to see... It, watching for me to come out when that unknown number was texting me to come outside and calling me to tell me to come outside. I saw you. And you actually looked up in my window and we made eye contact, but I guess you didn't know it was me. It was crazy as hell. I hurried up and got out the way. I called Jalen. And I'm going to use Jalen as an advocate for all of y'all. Just because, you know, we're going to use Jalen because Jalen is, well, we're all a team, right? So we're gonna use Jalen as an advocate for all y'all. He's your voice because you didn't answer the phone, Vontae, and I quite frankly didn't feel like calling Zay and Cam. 
Y'all, sorry, y'all. It's just, ah. you got Jalen, Vontae, Cam, and Zay. Those are four people that we got to cross off the list, y'all. Well, not cross off the list, but we got to we gotta knock each and every last one of them off. So we got a pretty busy week ahead of us, y'all. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. This means war, fuckers. I'm coming for each and every last one of you niggas one by one. I'm telling you, I'm going to turn y'all against each other in this process. All right? Yeah, you niggas going to look up and your people going to be on my side helping me get you. That's how this shit going to go. Y'all fucked up big time. All right? All I wanted was some sleep. That's all I wanted. And and then y'all got my maintenance nigga banging on the door telling me I done pissed off some girl. Got me questioning what I be doing. I ain't even that type of guy. You know? So, you've been warned. You've been warned. I'm for Eddie Wall, the truth was candy coated, could've talked it out, could've changed the mode.